I'm going to show you a sure way to overpay for commercial real estate. Well, how do you know you're overpaying for commercial real estate? It's fairly simple. You need two numbers. Your cap rate that you're buying at and the interest rate that you're borrowing the money at. And some people will say, what if you're paying cash? It still matters because the person you're going to sell to is probably going to borrow money. So you want to always want to evaluate the deal as if you're borrowing money. So if your cap rate is 6%, and you're borrowing money at 7%, you are most likely overpaying for that deal. That's simple. This formula is called negative leverage. You're negatively levered, your interest rate is higher than your cap rate, which means it's costing you more to borrow the money than the properties make. The only reason you get yourself into a situation like this is you are experienced and you have a sure way of getting this cap rate up after you buy it. Sure, so not maybe the market will turn Maybe we'll get this lease from this tenant that might come. Absolutely positive you will get this number up. The reason that we saw such low cap rates in 2021 and 2022 is because this interest rate, so say 2021, that interest rate was 3%. We're buying stuff at a four cap. We're borrowing money at 3%. We have a nice spread here. All right, this is good. Today, interest rates are seven. A six cap actually doesn't look that great anymore. Whereas only a few years ago, you'd buy a four cap. What you want to do in 2024, is you want to go to a local bank. Local banks typically do a little bit better, 6.5, and you'll buy it a seven. Now, why do you want to buy a seven? Why are you saying like, so this is, this is actually called a 50 basis point spread. So that's half a point spread between the cap rate and the interest rate, where here I'm saying there's a full 100 basis point spread. The reason you'll buy a seven cap and you'll do it, because really, as a whole, commercial real estate, is worth a 5% cap. It should always kind of go back to a 5% cap rate or a 5.5% cap rate, depending on where you are. So if you could buy commercial real estate, good solid real estate in a good location for a seven cap, buy as much as you fucking can. Like you close as much seven cap real estate today as you possibly can. And in a few years, cause the biggest way to make money in commercial real estate is cap rate compression. Forget about expenses going down, top line revenue going up. You make money in commercial real estate by cap rates compressing in a market.